Oh, in this example, we're going to um, import a, a Trimble XML file and we'll have a quick look at um, the natural surface. First of all, I've got to create a new job, so a file, new, and browse to where you to the appropriate directory. I'm going to put in the downloads directory. Type in a new job name. So we just opened up a, a blank file. Now click on import and we'll click on Trimble XML. Now we've got to browse to the XML file. Click on open. Now these XML files, they're often the data in them is in meters, even if you're based in the States. Um, and a lot of you guys like to see your job in in feet or survey feet. So make set your XML units to meters. And yeah, we can use survey feet and click read and say yes to this. So it's imported the job and it's now it's creating a DTM and some contours. If we look at this, we don't want all this part in there. Quickest way to fix that, click on contour, surface parameters. And see this maximum distance long edge of triangle. Put a value in there. I'm going to put 150 feet. Okay, and then just click on Auto Create again. Okay, so there's our contours. Good way of looking at the job is with a color height map. So click on the rainbow icon at the top there. Then click Surface Colors, Shade by Height. And this is just default values. You can change these if you want. Uh, and there's a bump map there that's like it it, it highlights the ridges and the valleys etc. Click OK. Uh, let's just turn the contours off. And the points. That's sort of what our job looks like. Often we're also interested in how the water drains on it. Click on View. Click on Tributaries. Uh, do the tributary there. Number of grids will say 300. Higher the number, the more accurate, the finer it is. Uh, click OK. The longer it takes. And so what we've got here, those dark areas there where the water's ponding, and you can see the water ponds there. It flows out to here, to there, to there, to there out to the end there. So you can sort of follow how this path works. You know, it starts there, flows down here, flows out there. That gives you an idea of where the water in this big area here, you can see it doesn't flow out at all, it's just sitting there. So what I recommend doing now, just um, I like to export to Google Earth, so we, it's a good check that the jobs do are referenced and it's in the right spot. So click on export and Google Earth. Now you notice this UTM zone number, some of these things are pre-filled. That was from easy grade smart enough to figure out where the data was coming from. Uh, so this is saying it's a UTM in zone 17, but it's also using Trimble data, this meet because Trimble uses a true north. So you'll find the actual master bench is UTM, but everything else is true north for, based on that master bench. So it's nearly a UTM. Uh, we'll put out some control points, maybe a background color. And the tributaries and click KML export. to display so uh, Google Earth come up and I'll just move it into the field of view here so I can see what it looks like And I think that looks like it's probably in the right spot. And you can see on there where the water sits.